Now Stone King on the second down, looks to the far side, and the catch made out at the 40-yard line, and dancing to about the 42 goes Bryson Carter, 33. Stone King to the far side, and the catch made inside the 20, close to the 15 for Bryson Carter. Second catch of the drive, 17. Felder right side, trucking to kick it outside, does inside the 10 to the 5, and he is in! Touchdown! And now Stone King on second down, near side. The catch made into Owl's territory at the 45-yard line for Chris Domerkin. Quarter as the Skyhawks looking for their second score of the first 15 minutes. And they'll try Felder again. Too quick. Touchdown. Off the bottom of the... Now Stone King on second down, will fire it wide open. Chris Dahmer can so long. <laughs> on second down, Ostrowski down the middle has a man open, caught at the 15 to the 10 goes Tylon Papalo. Third and goal from the two, Ostrowski going to run the option, curls it in, touchdown. First and goal, and again, the Skyhawks right to the line of scrimmage. Felder dances in, touchdown, Skyhawks. Skyhawks secondary, a good 10, 15 yards off the ball. Second down, 10, Ostrowski across the middle. Catch made inside the 30, inside the 20 to the 10. In for the touchdown, Tylon Popolo. 17 carries, 143 yards for Justin Felder off last week's 177-yard performance. Here's Felder again. Oh, he just stopped on a dime, turns the corner inside the 10, and a first and goal for the Skyhawks. And again, it was Quadir Delgado McIntyre who made the tackle. He started left, put on the brakes, and brought it down to the nine. First and goal. Justin Felder, 5'8", 175, and he 10 player of the year two years ago. From the nine. Felder again, and he just trots in. Touchdown, Stonehill. The stop here on third and goal, and he'll get the call. Hurtling, and he is in. Touchdown. Stone King on third down. Will throw for it, fires. Oh, what a catch at midfield. Bryson Carter. Still on his feet all the way down inside the 20. Teen. Second and about four. Fel Felder again. Touchdown. Five scores for Justin Felder. And it's Brian Kearns Jr. pushing his way toward the end zone. Touchdown. And they'll run it with Liggy. And he's got the ball out over the 45 to the 47 yard line. And that will do it. Final score at WB Mason Stadium, Coughlin Memorial Field, the Stonehill Skyhawks 54. The Southern Connecticut State Owls 21 with the win. The Skyhawks improve to 2 0. Um, going back to Southern, the type of defense they run is just. Is ideal for the kind of offense we run. So I feel like the production is just based off the scheme and the O-line executing. It makes it real easy for me back there to do my job. So it's just, I feel like it's more scheme really than me. Just um, keeping teams honest, being able to run our base plays, 
and have different kind of R, like R, um, RPOs off of the uh, off of the same play and just keep doing that out of different formations to try and disguise what we were doing. But it was really just the same things over and over. We were just able to keep attacking the same positions, um, making them line up in situations that we liked. So we were able to just, uh, just exploit and take advantage of the things that were in, to our benefit. Uh, for us to open up that that uh, any 10 uh, conference play against Bentley is huge, especially in 2019 that they beat us off a last second field goal, which in my opinion decided who was going to be the, the any 10 champion from that game. So it's, it's huge being able to go to their place and they, I know they're coming off two strong weeks as well. So that's just going to be a great game, great atmosphere. It's just going to be excited to be able to have that kind of um, competition. Uh, no, I just, everything was clicking today up front. They were pushing everybody around. Obviously, having a guy like Felder running the ball too opens up the pass game. So, and all the receivers balled out. It was just, it was a good game to have today. Definitely. Yeah, I think just, I mean, that first game it was after 650 days. So just kind of getting back into the groove of things. And uh, today everything was clicking. We had a good offensive day. Yeah, I mean, he's a great weapon to have out there. Just knowing he's going to go out there and either jump over somebody or outrun somebody. And obviously, all the receivers balled out. I trust every single one of them. And I mean, the boys up front, too, giving me time to throw. So just everybody was working today. Yeah, no, it's it's tough to do, definitely. I mean, any freshman coming in and playing for the first time college ball, it's a big step up, and all these guys are answering the call. So it's good to have. Yeah, I think just uh, we're getting into our groove, and whole team's coming out ready to go, and we're all pumped up for next week at Bentley. Big game, a little sour from 2019, uh, last-second field goal. So going to have a good work week and come out ready to go. Yeah, no, yeah, we're all excited, ready to go. That's probably, that's the one you circle on the calendar. And uh, it being the first any 10 game just amps it up that much more. So be ready to go. Have a good work week. Yeah, I thought we did a great job uh, running the ball, obviously, all night. And it wasn't just the same kind of vanilla run game, right? We were mixing the inside zone, outside zone, power and counter. Uh, so that, I think it really kept them you know, on their heels defensively. Uh, and then Anton, you know, just did a great job distributing the ball. He was very efficient. And you know, we left some really big plays out there. You know, we could have had a really special night through the air. We dropped a couple passes that we, that you know, we, we're going to want back. Um, you know, plays that we're going to have to make moving forward to beat, to beat successful programs. So I thought it was just a really great balanced effort all night uh, from our offense. Um, you know, did a great job on third down. Just situational football was awesome. Yeah, I think some of it comes from it's our preparation, right? I think uh, you know, hats off one to our coaching staff for for, uh, for putting a good game plan together and, and then making adjustments, um, and our guys for coming out fast, ready to execute, um, and, and making plays early uh, to put us in a, in, a, in a good position to start the game. So um, it was really great to see, uh, and obviously, anytime you can get up early uh, and play from the front, it's it's a blessing. Yeah, he's playing at such a high level. You know, we were talking about this during camp. You know, obviously. In, in 2019, being the MVP of the league and having a great season and, and not really starting fast, but really rolling the back half of that season. Um, and this year and a half, like he's gotten better. Like he's he's a better football player. He's a more complete running back. He's doing a better job out of the backfield, catching the ball. Um, and, and I think he's improved his top end speed. Uh, so he's always had great vision, great patience. Um, he trusts his offense. He trusts the offensive line. Um, you know, we're putting him in position to be successful and he's going and making plays for us. He's making the guy that we can't block. He's making a miss. Um, so hats off to him. He's playing at such a high level right now. Yeah, you know, and, and again, he's a guy that we he left a couple out there tonight too, And but made it such a spectacular catch down in, in the far end zone um, that's going to be on the highlight reel somewhere. Uh, you know, he, he does a great job. He's just so steady in his approach. He doesn't ride the wave emotionally. He's a great competitor. He's smart. He's tough. He's obviously gifted athletically, um, but what he's done a great job of is putting himself in position, you know, through his technique and through just, you know, being cognizant of what we're doing and how we need to do it to be successful. So uh, it's great to see him continue to take strides every week. Yeah, obviously a big rival for us. Bentley is, is off to a hot start. Um, they have a great team. I think, you know, they won our league in 2019 and they're a better, more complete team than they were then. So it's going to be a big challenge. It's going to start with our prep and, uh, and obviously it's going to be a big week for us to, to, to prepare our guys, you know, for, to go on the road for the first time to play our first conference game against against the big rival. So we're, we're excited for the challenge.